वेलकम टू स्टोरी बोर्ड आई एम शिबानी घरत व्हाट डू एप्पल अरिडास जोमैटो मेक माय ट्रिप फोक्स वैगन तनिष्क एच बैंक एंड बॉम्बे शेविंग कंपनी कल्याण ज्वेलर्स हैव इन कॉमन दे ऑल हैव फेस्ड एडवर्टाइजिंग बैकलैश एंड मोर ऑफन देन नॉट ब्रांड्स दीज डेज फाइंड देमसेल्व्स नेविगेटिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी whether due to a simply misjudged campaign cultural insensitivity or other issues so how can they manage these situations is quickly addressing the controversy the solution or they can retain dignified silence and let it pass is the consumer today too easily offended and quick to express on social media what are the long term implications on the brand today we are discussing all of this with a panel of experts joining in the studio we have dheeraj sinha group ceo fcb group india and south asia manisha kapoor ceo and secretary general of aski and sukesh naik chief creative officer of ogilvy and over zoom we have anupama rama swami chief creative officer and joint managing director havas worldwide india along with narayan devanathan president and chief strategy officer south asia densu all of you welcome to cnbc tv 18 thank you dheeraj let's begin this conversation with you what are the common triggers according to you that lead to advertising controversy i can see overall you know in the list of brands that i mentioned some are religious some uh, are you know completely misjudged as i mentioned so what are these common triggers that lead to these controversies i think typically if you offend the culture uh, you've misread the culture or if you misread the sometimes you might misread the delta in the culture you might feel uh, sitting in the ivory towers of marketing and advertising that a certain trend or a pattern is become mainstream uh, and you write the brand or the communication on that realizing that actually the culture hasn't changed as much or there isn't that degree of delta uh, on the trend that you thought uh, was mainstream uh, or sometimes you feel that what's normal in our boardrooms or what's normal in our uh, four walls of marketing and advertising uh, the audience there may not uh, see that as normal uh, they may uh, see that offensive and sitting in your chair you know you've been across uh, different agency groups different agencies uh what are some of the controversies that you have faced in your uh, you know in your advertising career so far which have been the biggest ones oh several i can't name the brands but uh, yes of course i mean there have been times when uh, there was a promotional ad uh, for a for a brand and it caricatured uh, one of our regional languages uh, right and if you look at caricature of regional language in hindi cinema with chennai express etc is 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 popular mainstream but a brand doing that led to huge amount of controversy but what is the potential next step sukesh uh, over to you what should be done best if like a controversy erupts all we need to really do is get out of our office and go be with the people who are creating work for to understand what are we saying hmm. the things that we believe or let's say the world that i that i am part of is not the same and that's something very important for us to understand because the work that we're creating for for the masses so if you don't get out there and if you don't understand what's happening out there you will be so cut away from reality and coming to your question that you said which is despite your best effort if you done something which is not right the one and the most important thing to do is to course correct and for that the only way forward is to understand what went wrong and you can't defend something when you have offended somebody think of it this way i have a friend who's angry with me mm. i can try many reasons to say but i just have to go to the friend and say i'm sorry yeah? i i did something wrong so you have to find a way to get back and every brand let's say i work with brands right now and there are many brands who have different different ways of saying whatever they have to say we work with the brand i have to work in the brand system ecosystem come back and do a thing that really makes the mark and we've done that in the past across and it can happen to any one of us despite everything that we do right you go something that you have slipped or something that you didn't imagine could happen so you have to have rigor rigorous systems in place you have to have rigorous people to go and bounce your ideas of people before you think that this is the end of it like for example rogil bb i i would very happily ask a completely different person who's not worked on what do you guys think about it do you think it's even interesting exciting because a lot of times we fall in love with our own ideas we fall in love so much with our own ideas that we think this is the best thing ever happened mm-hmm. just ask someone 
ask internally before you go and do something. Mm -hmm. And then be open to, because I think the world today has many mediums to express what they feel. Mm -hmm. So which is why in the past, I think many things just, got, just went by or kind of slipped away. Mm -hmm. It won't slip away anymore. So people are sensitive, people are, and people have a way to express it. Mm -hmm. That's where it gets really blown away. Because if you feel something, you will say it. And whether you say it in a visual manner, whether you say it with a smile, or you say it with some really crazy tweet, but you will say it. Yeah. And then it just, it just needs like it's adding fuel to the fire and then the rest is history after that. Many other brands who have uh, faced the ire on social media platform have pulled down the ads. Do you think that is a right solution in, you know, when something like this uh, erupts? The word right is such a loaded word, Shibani. Uh, I would probably say, you know, there are only two uh, occasions where it's inexcusable when you go mm. wading into or searching for a controversy. One is ignorance. I mean, there is no excuse for ignorance today. There's no reason why you shouldn't know if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. And the second is if your intention itself is wrong. But beyond that, I would probably argue that it is almost incumbent upon brands to reclaim this space where we push the cultural envelope and therefore we actually invite and welcome controversy. I mean, that's how you shift the balance of power. That's why you shift things from the status quo. Um, so I would probably not back down. I'll probably not apologize if I've not done anything out of ignorance or out of bad intention. Having said that, one of the most opportunistic ads that we saw of late was the one uh, with Prachi Nigam and Bombay Shaving Company. And, uh, you know, it was a commentary on her facial hair. Moment marketing is usually a monumental disaster if not done well, is what you said about that campaign. So, tell us more, you know, how, what are the steps when such a campaign is being released that to uh, in a national uh, newspaper. I think in, in that particular case, I think there were problems at various levels. Um, you know, it was first, uh, you know, they were talking about a child. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not that you're commenting on someone who is, uh, let's say, in the beauty business. You're talking about, an, you know, a student who has cleared an academic exam and she's done very well and everyone's kind of congratulating her. Mm. Uh, so to me, that was the first thing. The second thing I think again is that, you know, is that a stance that you've taken consistently? Have you, for example, I mean, are you uh, talking of PCOS or PCOD, which could cause facial hair in women? Has that been your uh, area of expertise or something that you have worked with people on? Or have you worked with PCOD sufferers to kind of come confidently and make that statement? Um, and I think thirdly, it was this whole thing of, there seems to be something interesting, let's just quickly cash in on it. Uh, and you know, I, I think, Perhaps it was a campaign which was done very unthinkingly uh, to get... Unthinkingly or in an opportunistic manner? Do so, you think I, I unthinkingly? Mean, so unthinkingly in the sense that you're not thinking of the long term, you're just thinking of how do I, you know, ride, ride someone else's yeah. popularity yeah. today and kind yeah. of, you know, get in and you're literally kind of shoving in your brand into something that's happening, which technically is none of your concern. Hmm. Uh, so to me, that was perhaps an example of a campaign which was, uh, you know, not done well at all. Hmm. Uh, but I think, in, in, so, so that's moment marketing and I think, you know, there are pitfalls of that because the other problem with moment marketing is that it typically perhaps does not go through the rigor and the checks and balances that a regular campaign may go through because everyone is just in a hurry to get it out. Anupama, over to you. To a certain extent, and I would go back to what Sukesh said and Dheeraj said, which is that there is a woke generation right now hmm. and that there are some who love commenting on everything hmm. so you know to balance is very very important considering that today anything that you put out is open it's not like whether uh, you know uh, you are asking for opinion you are being told whether it's right or wrong every single day so it is our responsibility as custodians of the brand to somewhere be conscious about what we are putting having said that one thing that I would like to say is controversy is a very heavy word, right? But conversations, starting a conversation or a debate is not a wrong thing at all. What is wrong in starting a debate? But nowadays what is happening is everything becomes a debate and then that becomes a controversy and eventually uh, brands are getting scared. And so it's very difficult for us to tell brands, can you like push a little 
should we uh, start a conversation because they they're so scared of anything just becoming like uh, i mean just catching wildfire if i may say that so for us it's i think it's very important that there is a balance that we make and we shouldn't be scared of debates that's something that i would like to say very clearly this conversation will continue you don't go anywhere we will be right back